我是黑曼，我猜新西兰。Sorry guys, I think I'm in the wrong channel. I'll switch back to English now. Okay? All right, I'm a mom of uh, three adult children, also a wife. Before I forget, my husband. In 2005, I left for I left Malaysia to go to New Zealand. To raise my three children, actually to educate them. Um, winding back, actually, I went there for a three-month stint, but I always stayed for 18 years. Now I call New Zealand my home, but I still have footing back here because my husband lives here and he's got his practice here. So I move back and forward um, from New Zealand to Malaysia, Malaysia to New Zealand. That's why I'm here at this point of time. Um, being in this kind of situation where I need the flexibility of time to be able to travel, so uh, being in employment is not a question. Uh, I mean, it's not an option for me. As an accountant, I am able to contract out my services, so that's what I did. I'm not in an employment, but I've been contracting out my services. <laughs> yeah, and um, Besides contracting out all my services, I've also been very busy with my three children and I sit on several boards of um, voluntary boards like charitable organizations and non-profit organizations where I, am, I was their financial controller and also their accountant. Life seemed to have purpose then for me. However, in 2021, I became an empty nester when my children left. So I started having a deep sense of loss and emptiness. That time, love came into my life. I found my soulmate, my fur baby called Manja. Not a man, because I still have my husband. <laughs> Everything was fantastic, but um, towards the end of 2021, I became a little bit sick and I needed medical intervention and surgery. That made me, uh, was for, I was forced to slow down, which means I couldn't, I didn't want to work anymore because um, that was putting pressure and, you know, it was a bit tough on myself. So I had to retire early. That was great for a while and then I got better. What do I do? I started searching, searching for purpose, something that I could do, be useful and meaningful, not only for myself, for people around me. Then the answer came about, I was searching, I was really searching, I tell you guys, search the internet, search everywhere. And then the answer came to me that I should go on Mercy Ship. I'm not sure how many of you have heard of Mercy Ship. I think it's quite popular in the USA. It's a uh, mission where um, you go, the mission that I signed up for was for a six months mission trip where um, you, it, it is for, that provides hope and healing for people and this mission ship was supposed to be heading off to Western Africa and it's actually there at this point of time. It's been three days since then. I was over the moon to be able to have this opportunity to go there and to be part of the mission. Unfortunately, when I was finalizing the papers, I was informed that I can't take my soulmate so immediately I know I knew that was not what I meant to do. So I said, well, God, then you must have some other purpose for me because this is definitely doing my head in. And um, I trusted in God and that was good because God is good. And um, one day I was flicking through my Facebook and I suddenly saw, hmm, Peggy, Kina. What are they doing? What is this? Three. Three. Everywhere was three. So I messaged Peggy. I said, dear, what's this three? She said, well, jump on a Zoom one of these days. I give you the link. I said, okay. I was quite excited. And it happened. What happened? Now I'm losing my paper. <laughs>
Yeah, um, Peggy and Peggy is um, logged in from Malaysia and Kina logged in from USA. They shared the um, products, they shared the company story, and they also shared the ka-ching, like <laughs> Samson said. Everything was aligned. It, um, for me, it was very fascinating because the company's vision and mission actually aligned with my own and I was very excited and I knew this was probably what I was searching for and I believe there was an answer from God that this is what I should be doing and after we finished the Zoom session I texted Peggy and I said yes Peggy I'm in sign me up for Founder Pack and Peggy said Peggy said dear you are a red apple. <laughs> I think some of you know what that means. <coughs> yeah, so that, that's how I got into three. And as far as the product is concerned, I am extremely happy to tell you that I personally benefited from the product. For me, my, uh, my special one is Revive because I've suffered with back pains for 20 over years and nothing that I've done has helped me. Whenever I travel, I will have to have the medicinal uh, patch um, and I have all sorts of painkillers in my bag and the musculoskeletal specialist is my best friend. But now he's no longer my best friend. He's not going to like me anymore because since using the product for the past two months, I'm actually pain free. Um, I'm really glad about the product and as far as the company is concerned the reason I forgot to tell you this is really really important why I also signed up was because the first and foremost important stuff why I signed up for three is because of these two lovely ladies Peggy who is very lovely and very genuine in her presentation and very compassionate and very helpful and the other person Kina here she is extremely extremely passionate about the company and the business and yeah there's nothing much to say thank you oh one last thing <laughs> sorry guys taking too much of your time but i have to say this uh if today you are here you've been invited by somebody to come and um watch this I tell you honestly, this company is reliable, the products are good, and the team support that you get from everybody is excellent and second to none. So please talk to the person who's invited you to come over this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.